welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new here then hello, welcome, my name is Ruby, I film loads of fashion, lifestyle, home, vlogs, all that kind of thing. So if you like that kind of thing, then I would love it if you could subscribe. So today's video is going to be one that I know you guys absolutely love. Um, so we have a Zara haul with a few and other stories bits thrown in as well. Um, it's mostly Zara, it's like Zara up to here and then like three and other stories bits at the end there. So without further ado, I think we should just get into the video. I'm gonna try not to make this long because there are a lot of pieces here. Um, so <laughs> it might be one that you wanna sit down with a cup of tea or coffee and just enjoy, or maybe it's one you wanna watch in like two parts or something, but we'll, we'll try and be quick. because There's just quite a few pieces to talk about. Um, so the first piece that I wanna talk about is actually the piece that I'm wearing. Um, so this is from Zara. Obviously I will show you it properly uh, in the cutaway, but it's kind of like this really nice kind of dark gray color um, I kind of want to call it a cardigan or a shirt because it's knitted but it has the buttons going all the way down so you could wear this open if you wanted to. Um, I quite like it just done up like this. I think this is great because it's quite smart so it works really well if you are working from home but you have to be quite presentable. I think this would work really well. I'm actually wearing it with a pair of leggings underneath <laughs> because I'm all about that comfort but this is so comfy, really nice and cozy and warm as well. So I love this, really, really happy with this. Everything will be linked in the description box below as well as the sizes that I'm wearing because I can't remember what size I have on. Um, this also comes with some bottoms, which I haven't tried on yet. This is the only item that I've actually tried on. Um, so it comes with a pair of bottoms, which I love. I'm all about a co-ord because I just think they're so, so easy. Um, and yeah, they just make dressing so much easier in the morning. And they look really smart, but they're also really comfy as well. Um, so these are the trousers. They just have a waistband there. And then they literally just go down into like a tapered kind of leg. They have a little cuff detailing at the bottom and then they have a seam kind of running all the way down the leg. Um, and then they have a pocket on the back as well. So yeah, I think this would be really cute, like just tucked in with a pair of trainers or something like that. I'm not entirely sure because as I said, I haven't tried them on yet, but you'll see in the cutaway how they look and how I styled them and stuff. So this is the matching co-ord set on. I actually love the shape of the trousers. I think they're really, really flattering. And then I just tuck the top in. There's a lot of material on the top, so it's not that easy to tuck in without it looking kind of bulky, but I think it's okay. Um, but yeah, I think this is really, really nice and smart. It would be great for the office, but also great for just lounging around at home as well. It's kind of like workwear, but comfy, which is amazing. Um, but I also think you could dress this down with like a pair of trainers and stuff if you wanted to wear it out and about. But yeah, I really, really like it. I think it's so, so nice. I don't know how it would look if I was to um, pull it out. I don't know if it would be that flattering. Hang on, let me try. Mm. Yeah, okay, I think you could definitely get away with it. I probably wouldn't wear it like this, but you definitely could get away with it. Right, let's start on this end with the coats because I know that you guys are probably mostly here for the coats. So <laughs> this is the first one I wanna chat about and I am in love with this. It is so cool and it's so unlike anything that I own. So if I come in a little bit closer, it is a houndstooth check um, in basically like blacks, browns and kind of beiges. I love the colour palette on this, it's pretty much all I wear anyway. Um, and I just love it, I think it's so, so cool. So it's double breasted, it has two pockets here. It's quite like an oversized kind of slouchy fit. So this is a size small and it's actually pretty big. I'm actually wondering whether I maybe should have got an extra small, but anyway, we'll see. Um, but I also love it, it has this kind of seam detail running all the way down it and that is also the same on the back as well, hopefully you can see that which I just think creates like quite a nice shape. So yeah, I just think this would look really cool with a pair of black big boots, some skinny jeans, a black roll neck, and this over the top, and like maybe like a fedora hat, like a brown fedora or something. So this is the coat, and I've just paired it with this jumper dress, which you're gonna see in the haul a bit later. Um, but I love it, I love the shape of it. I think it's so, so cool. Comes like just to like mid shin length. Um, and yeah, it's gorgeous. I actually am really happy with the size as well, so I definitely wouldn't need to get a smaller size. Um, but yeah, I think it's so nice. I absolutely love the pattern as well. So overall, very, very happy. So here's the coat paired with an all black, like skinny jeans outfit, which I think looks so nice and chic. I really, really love this. And so next up, I picked up a black coat. So I've been on the hunt for a black coat for quite a long time now. And I actually picked one up from Amazon recently, which you guys will have seen in a haul that I uploaded earlier in the week. Um, and I now I picked that one up. I'm a little bit unsure on this one. I think I'll probably return this one because the other one was actually a lot cheaper. Um, but yeah, I thought I had this on order anyway, so I thought 
I'll give it a go and see see what I think. Um, so it's this double breasted style coat. I know you're not going to be able to see it very well because obviously it's black. Um, but you know, pretty simple. It's got the big lapels here, which I love. And then it goes down into what looks like it's going to come like purely like just above my ankles. But I quite like that. I like a maxi style. It has a big slit at the back for movement, which is great. And it's all fully lined as well. It's a really good quality coat, to be honest. It's from the brand Mantico. And I see a lot of um, high street retailers get their kind of coats and stuff from this brand. H&M does it a lot. Um, and Zara, obviously. So, so it says here, Mantico is an Italian mill producer of fine text textiles with a long history of know-how and heritage, an icon in the fashion world. So there we go. That's what it is. Um, so you can tell it's going to be really, really good quality. So I actually picked this up in a small and it was £129, which... It's expensive, but obviously if it's well made and good quality, it's worth it. So yeah, I thought it was really nice. I like the double breasted detail and it's just a good staple to have in your wardrobe. I mean, you can put a black coat with anything, all black outfit, white outfit, gray outfit, whatever it is, blue denim. I also think they look great as layering pieces as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that fits. And here is the black coat. Hopefully you can see it. It is really, really nice and flattering and it's got such nice movement because of how big the kind of tails are at the back, if you can see that. Um, but yeah, sorry, the light is terrible because it's suddenly just changed. I might try and move my mirror so you can see it a little bit better. But yeah, I actually do really like this, so now I just have to decide <laughs> which one to keep. <laughs> just try to move the mirror into some better light, so I do think you can see it better there because the sun's coming through the window. Um, but yeah, it's nice and lightweight as well, actually, so you wouldn't get like too hot in this. Obviously, we are all working from home a lot more. We are all at home a lot more, enjoying all the loungewear, enjoying the cozy vibes. So I picked up this jumpsuit. I don't have any loungewear jumpsuits, so I thought this would be a nice addition to my wardrobe. So it's in this cream colour. It is so, so soft and cozy. It has a hood, which is a bonus. Um, and then basically it's just zipped up all the way to the um, middle bit. Then you've got a drawstring. Uh, tie detail and cinching at the waist and then you've got two big pockets and then it goes down to like a tapered leg um i mean <laughs> i don't really know what else to say about this other than i think it looks like the coziest comfiest thing ever um so i'll definitely be wearing this around the house but i also think it looks really nice with like a camel coat over the top and like maybe a beanie and some trainers um or maybe a trench coat or something or a teddy coat denim jacket loads of different ways that you can wear this out and about so yeah i felt like it was really nice comfy loungewear but also a little bit smart as well the only thing i will say that i'm a little bit disappointed is i think the zip looks quite cheap if i go in a little bit closer can you see like that silver bit on the zip there and then at the bottom that bit there i just think that could have been the same color as the jumpsuit if you know what i mean i just think that makes it look a little cheap but you know um so i got it in a size small and it was oh it's got euros on here but i'm pretty sure it was like 39.99 so this is the loungewear jumpsuit and this is so cute i love it i've just paired it with my uggs just because this is the sort of thing i would wear around the house um but yeah it's really cute it's definitely more of like a yellowy cream um, than it looked on the website, but I still really really like it. I think it's really flattering I love how you can cinch the waist in the legs aren't like too baggy. So that's nice and flattering, too I've got black underwear on and you can kind of see though So you would definitely need like nude or white underwear on because yeah, you can definitely see it <laughs> um, But yeah, I really like it. So I'll definitely be keeping this one So this next one is a little bit different for me But I actually picked it up after seeing it in another youtubers called Nadia Anya um, and I saw it and I just thought that would make a really nice blouse for work meetings, for YouTube videos, all that sort of thing. Um, and it definitely is giving me kind of like Chloe, Isabel Morant vibes. Morant? Morant? <laughs> Morant vibes. Um, so it's like a little kind of brodery blouse with the, is that called a Peter Pan collar? I think it might be, something like that. Little ruffle collar um, and then it goes down into these gorgeous kind of brodery details here. Kind of like a smock neck style with the big um, kind of voluminous sleeves um, and then it just goes out again. So it's got quite a lot of volume. It's quite kind of like oversized style, which I love personally, but it's quite pretty still with all that like nice ruffle detailing. So I put this up in a size small and it was 29.99. I just thought this would be nice tucked into jeans um, or like leather leggings or something like that, or even like coated trousers and just like a nice smart option. This would also be gorgeous for going out for like a nice lunch somewhere. You could even pair this with some heels dress it up a little bit um so yeah i thought i'd give it a try it's not really something that i'd normally pick but 
I thought it was really cute, so I thought I would try it. So next up we have the shirt. It fits really, really nicely. I love the kind of size and fit of it and everything. It's a good amount to tuck in, but it's not gonna be like loads of material. Um, and yeah, I just think it's really, really pretty. Really nice, very, very happy with this one. I'll show you it tucked in now. So this is what it looks like tucked in. So I'll probably pull it out a little bit more, but yeah, really cute. Okay, so next up some more knitwear. So I love Zara's knitwear so, so much. I think it is one of the best places to buy knitwear. They have such a good range. So I actually picked up two of the same jumpers because I always feel like if you like something, buy it in both colors, <laughs> you know? Um, so we'll talk about this one first. So the reason I picked these up was actually to be a jumper dress. So I love the jumper dress trend. I'm so on it. It's so, so comfy. It looks really, really smart and put together. It looks really fashionable. I love it with like big chunky boots. So I've been on the hunt for some good jumpers to wear as jumper dresses. And I found these, which are actually meant to be jumpers. Um, but I sized up to an extra large in both of them. And they fit really, really nice as a jumper dress. They kind of come like just maybe like that much above my knee. So they're a really flattering length. I'm five foot five, by the way, if anyone's wondering. Um, so yeah love these they are so soft and comfy like i can't even tell you the material is just gorgeous so it's a roll neck and then obviously it goes down and then you have the um ribbed sleeve detailing and then also the same at the bottom there really really flattering so cozy and they were literally like 29.99 so really reasonable as well they feel such good quality i honestly cannot recommend these enough so i actually have this one in the extra large and then because i loved it so much i decided to buy a smaller version to wear as a jumper um because this you can't really get away with it as a jumper unless you like your jumpers long but i like to be able to tuck my jumpers in so i actually bought one in a small as well um so i wear that one as a jumper so if you want to do that then that's absolutely fine obviously you can wear it however you like but they also work great as jumper dresses. These will work great with tights as well. Um, they look really good for like smart occasions. Like if you're going into the office, you could pair this with a blazer or something. I also think it would look so nice with like this kind of color palette as well. Oh my God, that looks so nice. Um, and I've also worn it with a camel coat, which I'll pop a picture on screen of me doing. So yeah, this color just seems to go really nicely with the kind of shades that I wear at the moment. Um, and it's just something different from wearing black all the time because I do tend to get stuck in wearing like black in the winter. So this is the green jumper dress. I love it so much. So you can see where it comes on me. And as I said, I'm five foot five. I've just paired it with some big chunky boots, which are from Public Desire. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love the big chunky neck. Um, and I can pull my necklace out and like sit it on top, which I think looks quite cute. So yeah, it's such a nice one. So, so soft and cozy. I honestly could not recommend it enough. Um, but as I said, like the small comes to like probably about there on me. So if you want it as a jumper, you could definitely do that as well. Equally, as I said, I picked the black one up. So it's the same jumper. So not really too much to show you. But yeah, I can post a picture here of uh, me wearing it as a jumper dress because yeah, it's gorgeous. I love it. And yeah, as I said, I highly recommend out of this whole haul, I think these two pieces are probably my favourite. So this is the same jumper dress, but obviously in the black colour. Not really too much else to tell you. It's literally the exact same. But yeah, really flattering, really, really comfy and cosy. And yeah, I love it. Okay, so next up I want to talk about some more loungewear because it just seems to be all I'm buying at the moment. So I picked up this matching tracksuit set. Now I love grey sweatshirts. You guys will know that if you follow me on Instagram. I feature them quite a lot on my feed. Um, I just think they look really, really nice and casual. Um, so when I saw that this was a little matching set, I thought that would be a really, really good idea. So it's just some trackies that have a elasticated waistband. They don't have a drawstring though, which kind of annoys me. So I'm like, are they gonna fall down? Um, and then they go down into um, a kind of drawstring bottom there. And then the jumper, it's just a gray jumper. I actually like was a little bit surprised about the material of this. So if I go in a bit closer, can you see it's kind of like perforated, um, which I'm not mad on. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep this. I prefer just like a plain gray, but maybe it's nice just to add a little bit of texture. So I picked up a small in the jumper, which was 25.99. This is actually quite big though. Like it's quite long. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit more kind of cropped. Um, but we'll see how we go. I might have to just tuck it up. Um, so I picked up a small in the jumper and then I picked up a, what is it? A small in the bottoms and they were 19.99. So I, again, love a matching piece of loungewear. I just think it makes you look really put together um, and you can style them like up to wear out and about with a pair of trainers and a trench coat or a leather jacket or something like that. So we'll see how we get on with these. I do really like them, but 
I didn't expect the material to be quite like that, but it is, does feel really thick and good quality, so we'll see. Okay, so this is the jogger set on. So firstly, I love the shape of the joggers. I think they're really, really flattering. They're nice and high-waisted, as you can see, um, and they're kind of like a bit of a slimmer leg, which I think can be really flattering. Um, and then I also love the jumper, but again, I do think, as I said, it is just too big. Like, I've tucked it up. If you don't tuck it up, hang on. I'll show you how long it is. It's just really, really long which I just don't think that looks very nice, kind of looks like pyjamas. Um, so I definitely wouldn't wear it out like that. So I would want to tuck it up, but there's just a lot of material to tuck. Um, so I think this one would probably go back. Um, I do like it. It's a really kind of smart piece of loungewear. Um, and it does feel good quality and everything, but yeah, I'm just having an issue with like this section. This is kind of my section that um, I'm a bit conscious of, and I just think it makes me look a little bit kind of bulkier than I am. I think even if you try and tuck it, it's just going to be like, I just don't think it's right. So yeah, I think this jumper and unfortunately the joggers are going to go back. Unless I just keep the joggers, but I personally don't think there's much point in keeping them if I don't have like the matching set. Okay, so they are all the pieces that I picked up from Zara. So now moving on to and other stories. So again, add it with the jumper dresses. You guys know I love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I picked this um, jumper dress up from and other stories purely because it had a belt. So you guys will probably see it better um, in the try-on clip, but if I show you here, it has a belt in the middle. Can you see that? <laughs> it's not really showing it very well. Um, but I thought that'd be quite nice to kind of cinch yourself in. All the other jumper dresses I have are just quite big and kind of oversized and kind of baggy, which I really like, but I also thought it'd be nice to have a different style. And because I was wearing them so often, I just thought I may as well. Um, perfect for work. Imagine wearing this with like some nice heeled boots or even some loafers and a pair of tights or something. Um, so yeah, it's really smart, really, really nice and lovely and soft, really nice shape. It's kind of got, the other one had much more of like a high turtleneck, but this is much more of a lower neck. Um, it's super duper soft and then the sleeves are like a little bit kind of, kind of balloony, which I like. Um, so yeah, we'll try that on and see, but um, if I don't love it, I won't keep it because I do have quite a lot of black jumper dresses now. So this is the belted jumper dress. I don't know how well you can see it because of the colour, obviously. <laughs> I don't think you can see it very well at all, but um, hopefully you can see the shape anyway. It's really, really nice and I love the fact that you can belt it, obviously to cinch your waist in a little bit. The only thing that I will say is it is a little bit itchy. Um, but I think it's just got a little bit of wool in it and I'm really bad with wool But I think if you're fine with wool, you'd be absolutely fine I've just paired this with some boot heels from Topshop because I felt like it needed like a little bit of a dressier kind of vibe Whereas I wore the other ones with like big chunky boots I felt like this was nicer a little bit more kind of feminine, but yeah, I love it I think it's a gorgeous dress. It'd be so nice for like Christmas Day or something as well So nice and cozy and comfy, but still like quite nice and dressed up um, so yeah, I really really like it. I just wish it didn't have any wool in it, but there we go <laughs> So I've just stood by the window so you can kind of make it out a little bit better Hopefully you can kind of see the belt detail there. So next up from and other stories I picked up this blazer. So if you guys watched my come um, Shoot with me for Instagram. You will have seen this blazer. I love this so much It is such a gorgeous blazer. I have this in like more of a creamy oatmeal colour that I got about two years ago now. And other stories bring this blazer back all the time just in different um, colourways. They do it in like black and stuff like that. Um, this is actually slightly different because I think the other one has buttons on the sleeves, but I'm not sure. Um, so this is just a single breasted blazer. It's got two tortoiseshell buttons there. Sorry, please excuse my nails. Obviously we can't get them done at the moment and they look awful. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice, very true camel colour, which I love. It's like my favourite colour. Um, really, really nice material. Looks really, really expensive. And I just think this is going to be such a good staple in your wardrobe. I also love these layers. So whether you wear it like under um, this kind of coat, I think that would look really cool. Or under the black coat. I just think blazers are just such a great piece. Um, they can make you look really nice and smart. Um, but also you can wear them casually as well with some denim and some big chunky boots or something. So yeah. Love this blazer, it's such a good one, really, really good quality, lovely kind of material and the way it fits and everything. Um, so I have this one in a size um, 38, which I'm pretty sure is 
a 12 I want to say but I'll link it down below anyway so I've just popped on the camel blazer to show you over the jumper dress um, but I'll show you over a pair of jeans as well but I just love it I think it's so so well made it's such a gorgeous fit and shape so so comfy just yeah really really gorgeous piece um, so you can see how it fits kind of on the shoulders it's like a little bit oversized and yeah I really love this one and this is the blazer with an all black skinny jean look imagine this with like some nice big sunglasses and stuff be so nice Okay, so I have another coat here, but it's a little bit different to the other ones. This is much more of like a practical coat. So if I just hold this up, it's actually quite heavy, but if I hold it up and show you, it's, it's a black coat um, and it's kind of like that, kind of like waterproof style material. I don't actually 100% know if this is waterproof. I'll have to check. Um, I'll pop it down below in the description box, but it's that kind of style. Um, but then what I love about it is it has this like black, like faux kind of sheepskin lining, um, which it has all the way through the coat. So if I open it up and show you. Oh. <laughs> so it has a zip detail and then it also has poppers. And then yeah, the lining literally goes all the way through and even goes up the arms, which is quite rare to find. Um, and then you have the detailing on the edge of the sleeves. And yeah, I just thought this was really, really nice, especially because we are all going out for walks and stuff a lot more. I just wanted a coat that was like really practical, but also um, actually looked quite fashionable as well. So yeah, I think this would be really nice just paired with black skinny jeans and big boots, but I also think it would look lovely with like, say for example, this kind of loungewear set uh, and some trainers. So yeah, if you're in the market for a new coat and um, that's not like a puffer or something, then this could very much be the one for you. I love the big pockets. They're very, very handy, especially when I'm walking Raffi to put all his treats and stuff in. So yeah really really like this one so this is the coat on i think i may have gone one size too big because it is quite kind of big um so maybe i should size down but i do really really like it i love the big collar i think that's so so cozy for like wrapping up around your neck um and yeah it's just a little bit different oh i didn't realize you could do that so you can go in this way with the pockets or you can go up that way what fun that is fun, I do enjoy multiple pockets. Um, but yeah, I think it's really, really nice, but I definitely think I need to size down one. What size is this? This is a medium, so yeah, I definitely probably should have got a small, but it's really, really cute, and it's so warm and cozy. I hope I'm kind of showing you it well enough. And lastly, from And Other Stories, I picked up this bag. I've seen a lot of people use this bag, and I just thought it was so, so nice, and honestly, the leather is just gorgeous. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> uh, and it's so, so soft. Um, I really, really liked the big, chunky, thick strap. Uh, you can obviously adjust this. Um, and I also liked how much it looked like it could hold. So if I open it up and show you, I haven't used it or anything yet. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep it, but the inside is amazing. So you have that pocket there, and then you have a zipped up compartment, which is obviously great for like phones or whatever. And then you have another pocket there. So there's loads of storage in there. I also think this would make an amazing gift because it's such a special bag, it's such good quality and I also don't think you can go wrong because it's just like a really good nice staple black bag. Um, it was quite expensive, it was um, £120 but it is real leather um, and it's just a really really gorgeous well made piece. And this is the bag on, hopefully you can see it okay, I know the light's a bit funny. But yeah I think it's really cute, it can obviously go longer as well, um, you haven't got to wear it that short but so so cute love it so guys that's the end of my haul video today i really hope you enjoyed it let me know your favorite pieces in the comments down below and as always absolutely everything will be linked in the description box below if you want any inspiration on how to style these things or my general style you can follow me over on instagram i'll pop it on the screen here so thank you so much again and i will see you in my next video bye